and welcome to another episode of Blake's Take, where I unpack customer experience in three minutes or less. This morning, I was walking my dogs as I do every morning, and I listened to a Fresh Air episode with Terry Gross, where she interviewed two of Silicon Valley, HBO's creators, and the main actor who plays Richard. I think in real life, his name is... Tom Middlestitch, but I think I'm mispronouncing that, and in the show notes, I'll put his real name. But in the interview, they actually played a scene back from the show, which I think really illustrates some of the challenges that affect customer experience leaders. And I thought it'd be relevant to actually recount this scene for you um, real quick. So, so in the show, uh, Jack is the, the new CEO who replaces Richard, who's the creator of Pied Piper, the compression software. Um, and essentially, um, Jack and Richard are having a disagreement about um, how to run the company. And this is a very familiar story. And if you've ever worked in a startup, there's always the creative tension between the founder, generally the creative type, um, and the business people, the, the Harvard Business School, McKinsey folks who come in and uh, are generally hired to scale the business and, and help it make money. So in, in this scene is Silicon Valley HBO. HBO is obviously the network. They're disagreeing about what the product is. So Jack says to Richard, Jack the CEO, new CEO, says uh, the product isn't the platform and the product isn't your algorithm either and it's not even the software. And so um, Jack asks Richard, do you even know what the product is? And Richard kind of coyly says, is it me? And Jack says, Oh, God, no, you've already been fired from this team. Um, and then Jack basically gets to the point that the product of Pied Piper, according to the new CEO, is its stock. And he says, um, whatever makes the value of that stock go up, that's what we're going to build. And I think this is the challenge for startups, obviously. Um, they're, they're kind of challenge balancing uh, making money with with saving the world, which a lot of I think these founders set out to do initially. Um, but really, it comes down to stock and quarterly profits. And I, I started doing a bit of Googling. I'm, I'm writing a book right now. And, and you see some CEOs like Jamie Dimon of Chase who says that CEOs shouldn't do quarterly earnings statements. They shouldn't run those announcements. And I think it's actually, it would be an interesting exercise for these big companies to not do uh, quarterly earnings statements and, and see what that does to the actual business. I think a lot of these businesses would be so much more successful if they didn't think about the product as the stock and focus so much on Wall Street. And we say this all the time, but I think CEOs struggle to stand up to their boards to say, no, actually, we're going to do the right thing. What do you think? Do you think that quarterly earnings statements are a challenge for companies and sort of confuse um, executives when it comes to providing value to customers? Let me know in the comments section below. Until next time, thank you for watching.